What's up guys, Lord Beardo bringing you a brand new Clash Royale video and check out this funky deck. So I've been messing around a lot with the Poison Miner, playing a lot of classic challenges, learning the chip, learning the log and the princess and all these various decks and I lost to this deck a couple days back so I'm like you know a lot of times I'll take a deck that I lose to and then I'll play it and I'll lose the very next round and I think it's just about knowing your deck specifically so I started running some challenges with this deck and have had a blast with it the goblin barrel is legit it is no joke <laughs> I don't know how it got so powerful. I know they did a little bit of buff work to it, but uh, one of the things I've been doing with this push, and the push is mainly consists of a hog, and you try to zap the Skarmy or zap the other troops that are gonna stop that hog, and just get two, three hits off, and just keep cir circulating with it, and then every once in a while, you can land yourself a real nice choice goblin barrel, and you can really, really, kind of destroy somebody especially if they don't play defense so that's kind of the, the thought process with this deck now the best part about this deck is my best deck that I used for a very long time is the deck that Fennec is using against me it was what pushed me up so far somebody actually just was commenting on my last video about not being able to get any legendary cards and I was like man I got the most legendary cards that I've gotten once they get to Hog Mountain and then you could actually buy them from the shop I was like you gotta get to Hog Mountain try that deck out and then I play the deck and I do very well against it which we're kind of happy about here now one thing that's actually cool and I don't watch a lot of my replays is to see them deciding what they're gonna play based off of what I'm doing you can almost over analyze your games and uh, really help yourself out here so you can see he's being real choicey with what he's playing he's not spending his elixir even when he has it he's waiting to see what I'm doing now he does lose so I'm not sure if he's playing good or bad you guys decide yourself but we're doing a pretty decent job here we're chipping away with that hog zap and we're using our princess for defense in certain positions like that and I've noticed that some decks you get you have to be overly aggressive on decks with the lava hound decks with the golem decks with big beat down combinations where they're looking to stack up check out that unnecessary rocket right there we just had to get it uh get it out we had to get it going and he's gonna push really really nice on this right hand side but we have our inferno tower left hand side hog and goblin barrel couple smashes check it out the quick zap spell and we got him all the way down to 248 now right hand side push he's gonna come up pretty well on this side man he's got the lava hound and the balloon but he's running out of time he's got to make contact on the tower which he does and solid push so we're just gonna push hard left hand side 248 waiting for those skeletons to get taken down zap one quick smashing of the hog hammer and look at that man we're beating our own best deck so I like this deck. I like the fast paced decks. Now that I have the princess, the hog, the miner, the e-wizard, all those cards that people told me weren't the most important cards in the game, they are the most important cards in the game. We are playing better than ever before. We are learning more than we ever have. And go figure, the legendary cards are all really, really useful. Now that was the first match against the Lava Hound. And this second match is going to be against just a standard giant beatdown. And he threw in a miner there, which is pretty interesting. So what I was getting to before when I was talking and then I interrupted myself was that when you play this deck, there are multiple ways of playing it. You can push, 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 and just out-push somebody. But if they have the right cards to do it, they can out-push you. Because some cards... Uh, the Inferno Tower just doesn't do much against. The, the Inferno Tower is perfect for beatdown decks, for golems, for lava hounds, for specific very high hit point cards. But the decks that we were losing against were very chip 
fast cycle decks and a lot of them had poison which was a big problem for us uh, because we're wanting to freeze up like in this situation right here we want the expensive cards to get stuck playing defense on the hound you get your spells off you get them pretty low and it's weird I haven't tried to move the rocket out of the deck yet but I have used it very successfully the rocket so it's weird I'm not sure I might try to do a variation of this same deck and take the rocket out and see what I'm doing but in some scenarios the rocket is perfect check out that left hand side gob barrel undefended takes the tower down I think he just thought man I gotta stack up here and go in and now don't get all crazy here I know the guy's a level 8 here we are in a classic challenge so he's gonna get beat up a little bit and I remember playing myself trying to do challenges when my cards weren't in standard order and you know this is not gonna work out for you guys but super super fun deck let me know if you guys are using the goblin barrel go ahead throw a thumbs up and throw some comments little beards if you guys are fans of the goblin barrel now one thing that I really enjoy about this deck is when there's a mid control style deck baiting the people in and then counter pushing but it's not as successful as some of the other decks that I've been using uh, with the counter pushing sometimes like in this scenario you'll see I got a pretty good solid push on that side we were able to get some of the goblin spears to connect on the tower and actually get the tower down to four hit points so we're pretty happy about that so I've been running a couple challenges today doing that in this particular challenge here um, I think we only got to maybe six wins or so and then we got beat up pretty bad uh, in a couple games in a row and then I ran a challenge where we got to nine wins we were nine and one and then I played against two people which when I look back on their profiles they were both like 3700 trophies and their decks were very specific kind of hard for me to deal with um, and they ended up taking me down two in a row. I was so pumped I really thought I was gonna break the 10 record that I have and you guys can see what deck I used to get those 10 wins It's on the channel. Don't be shy if you're if you're here this far trust me There's more Beardo that you can enjoy <laughs> Now here we go going in against the dragon fly and this is one of those times where you're you just do stupid stuff Stuff. Now check it out. I try to time this rocket early. Oh Man look how bad this is he immediately plays his electric wizard. I'm gonna put down my Inferno tower he freezes everything up zaps it and oh man I mean I tried to get the zap off just to freeze those troops up for a second and that's that's a fast tower down right there That's that's a fast tower down. So one thing that I've been really trying to do is evaluate what my opponent is playing and determine what it's gonna take to throw him out of his rhythm and to gain advantage. Now I'm pretty pumped because we got him down to 920. We got two minutes left. Though our tower's down, we know that he's pretty much gonna force one side. At least I thought he was going to until he puts everything on this right side right here and comes in full force for our major, major damage, takes down the Inferno, hits the tower. He has got all sorts of hit points getting drained off my tower right here. And Little Beards, we are in a bad situation. All around, this is totally my fault. One rocket in the beginning through this whole match at a sorts, but it's fun for me to learn what it takes to kind of gain back a match that I don't think we're necessarily going to win. Now, he plays that cannon to distract our hog, so we know we're in trouble. I played my Skarmy again in a bad spot, because what I end up realizing in this match is if I don't Skarmy his E-Barbs, we are toast. That is going to be the way that we can play defense not the inferno tower not anything else he plays the gob gang we play our gob gang and he's got us under 1200 hit points i'm sure he was really happy about this he misplayed his log we're able to bring the hit points of the tower within reason to our rocket so we're waiting 
for those elite barbarians. Here comes the Skarmy. His log is at a rotation. We're going to throw down our goblin barrel. A couple stabs in. He plays his goblin gang. And now our rocket is going to take down that right hand tower. So we're in it. We're in it. Let's bring this to overtime. Now we know what it takes. Now we know that we can shut down his E barbs with our Skarmy. He plays a bad freeze spell in that spot. We take down his elite barbs. This guy's got to be. He's got to just believe that this match is his if he had any reach spells whatsoever or cards rather he would know that he could get us left hand side he plays the log not until the damage is done on some of the goblin barrels here comes our princess we know that the elite barbs are coming down we put our Inferno down. We're all frozen. Same exact concession of cards. There goes the Skarmy taking care of business. 1686. We got our Goblin Barrel. We got our Princess helping out. The Hog gets in position. Princess gets a shot off. He played a horrible log there. Doesn't reach the Princess. We only needed to get within a certain range and we could snatch this up. Goblin Barrel down. He freezes us. Not of the biggest concern because he needed to push on that right hand side. We are at 172. He gets down his Goblin Gang. I kind of played that bad there I should have played the goblin barrel directly over the top he's got plenty of troops 326 with a log 230 on our main tower where is our rocket we play our scar me one more time I'm sure he thought that was it right there rocket for the victory little beards I don't know about you guys but that was an exciting game I I mean there are a few times when you do such a costly mistake like that in the beginning, and not just the beginning, there was two rounds of just horrible mistakes, and I was able to bring that game back. So Gob Gang, Gob Barrel, Hog, Scar Me, Inferno Tower, Rocket Princess, Zap. I want to see you guys use this. I want to see you guys make this happen, because this is definitely a really fun deck to try out now we're gonna get involved we're gonna make it happen we're gonna see if we can continue to push on this deck and maybe break 10 wins I was a little discouraged that we got smashed so hard with the last two people I was I was pretty mad I, I gotta say I got a little pissed off before because we were playing so well with this deck and I just know sometimes when you're playing against somebody you could just tell that they got you got your number and you're trying to figure out what you can do to throw them off. So we get our hog right hand push and this is the live battle so you're not going to see what his cards are. Royal Giant. So you're going to see this deck work against the Lava Hound. It's going to work against the Royal Giant. It's going to work against the Giant and it works against Electric Barb deck. So it pretty much covers the whole gauntlet. It's just when you're involved with somebody who kind of really knows what they're doing, where it begins to be a little bit tougher than normal. And that is something that we are going to try to, uh, you know, learn how to beat some people, man. I do think that our skill level is getting a lot better in this game. I think that we're starting to learn how to play defense, which is something I'm sure all of you guys never thought that I was going to be able to accomplish in this game is playing defense. And I think just playing um, 2v2s really helped me out. When I learned how to play defense and really learned how to help out in a match where, you know, you're, you're, you have to counter push. The counter pushes is something that I couldn't figure out. And the, I realized that after I found the Lava Hound deck, because I would win with the Lava Hound deck, I would try these other cards that everybody else is kind of having a good time playing with. And I'm just like, man, why can't I play with anything that's chip deck? And, you know, when I first got the miner, I just felt like I couldn't grasp the concept. And it was because I didn't understand counter pushing, I didn't know what it meant to play a minimal amount of elixir to stop their their push and you know take some hits like I definitely take a lot of hits I I tend to even like take more hits than I need to on my towers just to save a little bit of elixir I don't overplay defense um, and I've learned a pretty good base of of knowing what it takes to stop 
the other push and make a good counter push. So that's something that we're going to want to do here. Also spending very, very cheap cards on you know fire spirits and learning how to beat furnaces. Furnace is one of those things that we actually do not do a good job of uh, with this deck. I don't know why. The furnace is kind of tough. Usually when people use furnace, they have, look at that bad rocket right there. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't even know. I, just, I had to do it. I had to put the rocket down. I had to do the old good game, you know? But we find that the furnace, being that it has the fire spirits, because they'll either load up on other fire spirits, or they'll have a miner, or they'll be using a poison and the furnace, or a lot of, um, you know, swarming type cards, uh, skeleton army, things like that. Excuse me, that tends to be a problem. And I think I need to rely more on playing defense in those time periods and just using the rocket and just rocketing them till the end of the game let me know if this deck works for you guys give it a try give me a thumbs up give me a high five if you could peace out beards